Ramadan Mubarak. How everybody doing today? Today is Tuesday and we on our way out to uh, the bag compound. So C4. C4. So here I am with my brother. There you go. Yes. Usman. Ramadan Mubarak. That's right. Ramadan Mubarak. So uh, we're going to try to go out here. We're going to try to tough it out. Y'all know I usually don't uh, participate in the fast because of my job and the travels and all that. But since I'm on vacation, I will give it a try. So we'll see how we do because it's, it's hot out there. Look at the salon. It's hot out there, I'm sure. And we're going to try to make it work a few days. You know, because when I get back, I know it's back to the grind. So I won't be able to probably complete the fast. But we're going to try to do a few days. You know what I mean? And then next year, maybe inshallah, we'll be able to do a complete fast. So we on our on our journey. Some guys over here working, building. But yes, we do work. Don't get it twisted. But okay, let me set the camera up. Show y'all a little bit of what we're gonna be seeing. Should be good right there. All right, Usman, we'll let you take over the duties. You ready? Put my belt. Let me put my seatbelt on because safety's always first. I definitely don't understand a social contract when it comes to driving here. So everything scares me. <laughs> Wife said, "Hey, what's going on with the head, huh?" Yeah, no, she knows I. She knows I always do it. Oh, uh, okay. You're just surprised. Dogo, Tai Laya. She is looking for a place to walk, and she told me I can get some good food. She gives cut glass and everything. <laughs> wow. Uh, you going around with this cut glass and straight looking for a place to walk and get something. Oh, a place living. to work, yeah. <laughs> daily, you know, if you daily iron and you feed on it. Yes. I'm sure if we keep persisting he should have been up a lot earlier well maybe he was up early we don't know you got to get if you're trying to work you're trying to work get need to be at work before the workers do on our way can we stop by a phone shop Ramadan, you know, Ramadan Mubarak to everybody that's participating in the fast. So Y'all just sit back and uh, enjoy the adventure. Yes, adventure stories. That's right. Surprise, enjoyment, difficult. Yeah, we still are in the Gambia. Smiling coast of Africa. And of course the sun is already out. I woke up late because I couldn't really sleep. I tossed and turned. Got up, took a walk, came back. Tossed and turned a little bit more. Finally fell asleep. And then Usman coming, I'm just waking up. <laughs> so I apologize. They've been, they've been keeping me out every night, guys. So it's not my fault. They messed up my sleeping pattern. Yeah. 
normally I'd be in the bed, but I'm trying to hang with, with, with the sellers.
to a phone place. Remember how I need to go to a phone place? Phone place? Phone, remember? I need to think. I don't know where one at. Traffic light is out here at the circle. <laughs> You gotta just do what you gotta do. You got the police right there. over here be on foot huh in america they just driving cars just a few of them on feet yeah, yeah, they don't have cars. everybody have cars yeah some of them have motorbikes uh motorbikes this area is for our construction materials and everything uh see we have this same Come and buy a trip. Yeah, I see. Your house. Trucks are already loaded, waiting. Someone to buy. Yeah. See. Where they get the sand from? From the beach? It's from the beach. Oh wow. Waiting for customers. Yeah. So, upon construction, just if you have money, within three months we are okay. See this construction. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to open. You see all the signs there. Some people are dropping here. Oh, okay. Maybe you want, you don't want full one, you want small. Dump the rest there. Okay. Shut the uh, camera off because I don't want it to overheat. The sun is hot and the camera will overheat. So, four more seconds. We'll go to 15 minutes. All right, we'll turn it back on when we get to the bag family. When we get to C4, we'll turn it back on. We'll go Usman again driving. He's excellent. So, we'll see y'all in a few. All right, family. We are on. We didn't turn down, we in C4 and we on our way to bag. So turn it back on now. We ain't gotta worry about the police. <laughs> there was many police coming through the checkpoints.
Alte sur la gana djima fombo. Ah gana djima fombo. Ça va gana djima fombo. Eh? Maybe that's. Tu connais son map son pour le mari. Maybe that's. Uh... for the sand because the cars will get stuck. Lava. Yeah, I forced. Ah. Yeah. No, but one well, maybe. Well, you have to. seen this on, on the film before. I'm local.
Doing good so far, guys, for Ramadan. I see now. We need a we need a four wheel drive monster truck over here. I see that's what I'ma bring over. I'm not gonna be bringing over no luxury vehicles. I'm gonna be staying out, way out from the city. Uh, I see the truck. Get that arch out your back, lady. <laughs> we found it. We found it with no problem. There go Bama over there, up under the shade. You see it? It's packed behind. It. Right, right here. Right here. This be fine. That yeah, way, somebody can get in and out. Finally made it. <laughs> look, look, at, look at Usman's face. <laughs> <laughs> that damn, you have his tongue down there. <laughs> Hey, we didn't we didn't get stuck. <laughs> I didn't put my hat off or my head be burnt up. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yes. All praise is due to Allah. Inshallah, we have just put it us. <laughs> oh. I was going to be talking to everybody. Look at, look at sweet juicy mama over here just chilling under the shade with the dogs. <laughs> Don't be looking like that. Don't be looking like that. <laughs> That's the bad one. That's your uh, driver, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. How you doing? I think he went to try to find the bathroom. Oh, yeah, it's up there. I think the guy was telling him. Okay. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, I know you. Yes, yes. Sorry, we all kind of, they all doing something now. I don't know what other guys. Yeah, that's good. Rick was doing something. Hey. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Aren't they watering? I've been seeing these dogs on your videos all the time. These are the mixed breed with the pit in the Gambian dog. Pit? Our pit. We got some pits at pit that. Mm -hmm. Two. Boy and a girl. Okay. And our Gambian dog got mixed up with the girl. Uh, so now we got to keep them apart. Oh, wow. That's how they turned out looking like. That's why I said they look like I've seen him. The Gambians, this more, he looks more of the Gambian. Gambian dog, yeah, mm -hmm. he does. They're more like the mom, the pit. Mean, these two. Mean? And, yeah, like the fight. Oh, wow. This one's a scary cat. <laughs> <laughs> what you running for now? What nobody even bothering you? Mm -mm. The Gambian dog, we got one here, is one white dirty looking. Oh wow! Wherever he is. Yeah, this so is sweet the juicy mama. That were with you, they're gone. Yeah, back, they, right? yeah, they gone already. Wow. They back in the divided, <coughs> divided snakes. They have made it there. Yeah, they have. I just, uh, I think, no, they have, I don't think they, they might be still on the journey because they left at like 10. I said, good morning. Good morning. How are you, How are you sir? You? I'm doing fine. Morning. How's the morning? It's going great. Thank, Thank you. you. And you said they left, I thought they left Sunday. They missed their flight. 
Oh, really? Wow, did they have to repay something or they let them? I think they did. Did they have to pay some more money? Mm, sometimes, yeah. It's like $100. No, when they were there one hour before, but the problem was the negotiation. The so they missed out. Well, they need, I just small things. Uh, so the one who was trying to make some money. Yeah, I think it was like. It was them who made. They I don't know. Yeah, they bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right, 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 right. It was the bus. The, uh, the driver didn't understand. Yeah, they wanted him to go ahead so he can get across. And for whatever, he didn't get across, did he? Oh, mm -hmm. they had to drive to Senegal. Oh, yeah, they. Okay. That's, that's the way we came. We drove. I'm glad I'm not going back that way. I don't like I hear a lot of people <coughs> that way. I don't know. They say it's faster to get their bag, but. Nah, I don't know. I haven't flown, so he said next time we come, we're going to fly, but I don't want to go to Senegal again. I didn't like it. So. I didn't need this because it's French we, thing. We came in one time to Senegal, but we didn't leave the plane. We just sat there. Yeah, you see that. Just from there. And then from there, there, we came to Gambia. Oh, it's the other people board. Yeah, that's it. We never got it. What's home. up, family? There you go. How you doing, bro? Uh, okay, look, okay. At the, look at the Rickster. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? Everything all right? Oh, oh yeah. You right. finally made it. What's up, big man? <laughs> oh, yeah, How okay. you doing, bro? I'm fine. All right. How's man, we, we thank God for Usman. For real? Man, this guy here. <laughs> he is infamous oh, really? in he the Gambia. You doing you right, huh? Man, okay. without this guy, oh, my God. Oh, wow. All the police know this guy, all the military. How y'all link up? Uh, how did we find you, Usman? Huh? How did we find you? How did you? How did we? How did the group? How did we all find you? The tour guide. Yeah. How did we find you? How did you become their driver? Well, like one of us, you know, this Senegalish. Whenever they have tourists coming to Gambia, they call him. Okay, they call oh, him. yeah. So there's like another guy that. here like that too. You no, know, one of us, some time ago, guy to came was at Sambo. <coughs> mm -hmm. This was around 2001. Uh huh. When I was in the military, so when they came. They had some issues of movement, okay. so I met them. I asked them what their, what's their problem, and they tell me their problem. Then I decided to assist them. Oh, okay. And when I assisted him, and they wanted to cross the ferry, I helped them to cross the ferry, with no problem. Then he took my contacts numbers. He said, anything I want to, want to come to Gambia, I'll contact you. So hey. you you probably like you probably know Kente then. Yeah, no. Soros. He used to be in the military. He's with the security too, because he normally he was the one who took us to Senegal. Right back. He owns okay. Soros Nursery. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. I saw the video yeah. on the video, Soros. He's with the, you know, know a lot of military and you know, all that. In the Gambia. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Kente. Kente. He's working with the forest tree. Yes. And he worked at the right. Soros, yeah. Tough guy? Yeah. <laughs> Tough he guy. was my boss. He was your boss? Yeah, obviously. He worked Soros Nursery. <clears throat> I was working with him on the forest tree. Yeah. I was at the other country of country before I joined the army. Oh. I was with Kinte. Because Kinte was in the military too. Yes. But he's like, he works with security now, or something like that. Yes, he's working with the presidential office. Yeah. yeah I know Kinte. Yeah. Well, he was, it's a, it's he was so the small. one who took us to the uh, Senegal. Senegal. Yeah. With his Pajero? Huh? With his car? No, no, we drove in our van. Uh. He just rode with us because he showed us to go to Gory Island. It's Go small. Yeah, we wanted to it go show you how small the world is. Took us there. Oh, Kinte's my friend. Yeah, Kinte. He's a pretty nice guy. If you just come here, tell him Usman came here. Okay, I will. Oh my God. <laughs> that's crazy. That's what I see about that. Yeah. This guy knows everybody. He's military. That's why I was like, he works with. He no, I knew Kinte before in the military. Yeah. When we are working on the forestry, mm -hmm. then I was working directly on the kitchen. I said, no, this is Avendan. You know, I used to transplant, I made mostly, I used to transplant in the goods, mm -hmm. different kind of trees, eucalyptus, euphorus, mahoganis. Yeah. That's what he has now, nursery. Yeah, we make, yeah, marinas, you know, I've been doing those things with him for almost two years. Oh, wow. Awesome. Then 1999, I said, whatever. Mm -hmm. Because what happened was... You're not in the military no more, right? No, no, no. So what happened was, like, one day I was at the forestry, posted in the... Not Bang region of mm -hmm. the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Then you know the former vice president, Senator Sabal, mm -hmm. came there. He was in that was that time the government was military. So when he came there with his uniform, you know, the school I attended, he attended the same school with you. You know, 
So he was my senior guy in that school. He said, Usman, what is your problem? You better come to the fucking military. <laughs> you are in the sc- I was in the scar band. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I was a uh, bass drum. I used to play the bass drum. Mm-hmm. He said, you fucking come to the army. I said, yeah, sir. Me, I don't want to come. He said, no. The next house, I want to see you there. So, so I make up my mind. And you went. I was there working on the forest to be under their attachment programs. And I decided, I hear in the radio, that, that's it. Military that's selection, it. then I went. Then I the BFT. How long you would stay in the military? Yeah. 18 years. Wow. 18 years. Yeah, because he was in pretty long too. No, Kinte was there, I think, for nine years after he left. Nine. Oh, six years, six years. Six, six years, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah he, he was gone. Right. So, like, what I was, <laughs> <laughs> they liked me at that time at the military, so it was difficult for me to left. After five years, I want to move, you know. And you were. I, I have to sign another contract. So, so how do you feel about human? About human? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's normal. Like, I feel that people have to serve one another. I think we thought it was good to. Yeah. You have to serve country. one another. Yeah. Because, like. Well, the fr- former president? Yeah. yeah. I thought that's the only reason why we came here. Yeah. Because of him. Yeah, because really? he was very much particular about agriculture. Right. Uh, he don't like European. Yeah. No, he don't like European one. No. He, right. don't, he don't like them. That's don't why like they probably didn't like because him. Because you have to call it long time, you know that he don't like them. Right. He used to insult them. Yeah, that's why he was telling me that. Yeah, he used to tell me that. He used to insult them. He don't listen to the people. He don't listen to the people. That's why they wanted they got rid of him. Yeah, that's why, yeah. Were you exactly. part of the Mongols transplanting? Who, me? Yeah. No. Okay, because you know, some guys came here some time ago. They go up to a country, transplanting Mongols around the riverside. Uh-huh. Around Kalaji. You know Kalaji? Uh-huh. Yeah, around the side. No, I wasn't part of that. Yeah. It's some of the black American guys because I can remember. I think it was after rainy season. I think season I was even part of it. Rainy season last year. Oh, just so many years ago. Oh. When yeah, Jamie was in power. Oh, when we was here when he was, he was just leaving though. Oh. We got here in June of 2016. He left uh, December. December. Yeah. 2016. I was in Nigeria. Yeah. Been all over the world. Yeah. To the west. You haven't been to the west, right? I don't know. Not to the west, but all over Africa. Maybe we're missing anything in the west. Maybe one day I'll just have to... He keeps saying, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. I'm like, I don't think you want to come. <laughs> the, that's because they've never seen it, so... Yeah, they just see it from the tuck. He from said, from like he said, the an movies. Adventure. From the movies. Like you never see it. This is a crazy adventure. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous. Yeah, but, yeah, some of the adventures are dangerous. Yeah. Others are exciting. Over there, it's very dangerous. Yeah. They say over here it's dangerous, but over there... Well, over there, it's just <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Over there, you have like this empty land like this. No. no. If you do it, it's not in our hands. No. It's in the hands of the government. A few, it's you a know, few. Maybe I think. Like, you go down like to Mississippi and so Alabama. You this is your own. Yeah. You, we couldn't probably have this much in America. If we do, they probably get it. Try to get it back. They probably try so to this land up, up down there. It's all the way down there. Oh my God. Yeah, it's you like look from the air all the way down. Mm-hmm. Well, look. You need mangoes here, I know. You know. I mean, we got them all over. They plant them. They all over there and some other places too, but they down there too. So what do you think it is, Mama? Uh, how it's many about acres? 26 acres, I believe. Okay. And once we finish, because we're going to move it out that way, back like that way, and a little that way. In the end, we shoot for 60. You hear that? 60 acres. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so let them come and join her. Yes. I'm giving happy oh, All over there, it's not ours, but back that way, a lot of Americans been bought up over there. Oh, yeah, back. No, when, when you guys turn when from? When we turn in? On that side, yeah. On the other side, the yeah. right side. Uh-huh. Yeah, we had a couple come in yesterday, unex- you know, unexpected, because we were getting ready to leave yesterday about 3 o'clock, and they were from the UK, though, but their oh, okay. back, background's Jamaican, and they were looking at over there somewhere, two, two blocks over there, I believe. They say they may be buying them. Good one. Uh, you buy one? Man, I'm trying to buy in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone? Yeah. Now, I would come and maybe help with the bag family, but I want to yeah, buy Yeah, we know some guys in Sierra Leone, too. Uh, because that country is like untapped. Mandar- Ma- Masseray. Kenya Masserays, you know them? All day. So. They're over there in Sierra yeah, Leone. There. I haven't really met because I that that <laughs> whole from America. yeah that whole process just came together like without me even really trying. Oh okay yeah. Because well, I was there, just you do have some Americans there. Yeah they there but when I was there I didn't see anybody. 
You know, I guess they all spread out. The president. I think they've been they've been there longer than we have here. So I'm gonna say we've been here five, maybe they've been six or seven years over there. Because the president said it was like five thousand expats there, but when we was there, we didn't see any. But we was on the tour, so uh, I didn't get a chance to. There's some YouTubers though. They're YouTubers. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, when I go back, cause I'm when I leave here, I'll be going there. So maybe I'll get a chance to touch base with somebody over there. I know it's a couple that's uh, Sierra Leoneans that's YouTubers. So I was gonna hook up with them, and then uh, my co my contact there is in the government. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's how you, it was through the government. Yeah. That's why it went so smooth, even though people say it didn't. But what, you I, knew him? Or, no, I didn't know him. I, I, all this just, just came together. Oh, okay. Just out of the blue. Oh, wow. That's why I say it was meant for me. Yeah. <laughs> it was meant for me because four months before the trip, I, I hadn't had any idea of it. Then it just came together. Then come to find out the contact was actually a minister in the government. That's sincerely on. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. oh, I was yeah. telling him that, you know, Kenya Masserini and the old lady. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you bump into them? No, no. He said he didn't see any of them. I didn't oh, yeah, see nobody. She's from Chicago, too, West Side. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah she, his wife is from Chicago's West Side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to give me her North contact. North Carolina or something? Yeah, North Carolina or South Carolina. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You might have to give me their contact then. I'll contact yeah, them when I go. Yeah, like YouTube. 10, 12 years. Yeah, she's a... She's a YouTuber? It's small. I don't think it's big YouTuber, but... They're my Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, it, be, it still would be good, good contact. Um, doctor? No. No. No tractor yet. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking to buy one. Yeah, I'm looking to buy one. Yeah, I seen... Uh, <clears throat> Marcy Ferguson? Yeah. Yeah, that's what everybody say. What's that? It's good for all the country. That's the name? Yeah. Marcy but the Ferguson. ones they've been having here is the... The older models. But research said that ain't good. Yeah. Research said that ain't good. And it's like 19. Yeah, some 75. That's old. So yeah, it is strongest. Really? They destructed. But they because they were built, made with the. They had one here and it didn't. It didn't last. What was it? It didn't last. Was yeah. it McPherson? It was a Monsey Ferguson because yeah. that's, what's, that's what's dominant here. I'm talking about the Ferguson. guy who brought it here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who are they yeah. from? Is it from Germany or somewhere? Monsey Ferguson, that's from America. It's from America? But. but you know, here they're not too up on maintenance. Just right, running I think that's what happened. So, yeah. Is it okay to record, guys? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to put on my recording, guys. Let's see if it's in here. Had a little yeah. mishap yesterday, man. One of the generators went out, so we uh taking it to get repaired, a diesel generator, because mm. we're so far off grid, you got to go off solar panels or generators. And so... Somehow, like the ignition locked up on us, so we took it to get <coughs> turned in yesterday. But we had a visitor, you know. Yeah, I just at, yeah, you. as we was on our way out, they came in. So, you know, when they come in, you know, we talked to everybody, and we stayed and so, talking for about three hours. Yeah. Right? So when we went to the maintenance shop, it had closed. It closed so already. Back. And so that's what I was over there doing. Now, you know, we had a subscriber that came over here and uh, gave us a generator, but it's one ten. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so what you need, 220? Everything over here is 220. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, Figure that. But he yeah. said he know Kente. Oh, he do? Mm -hmm. Yes, I know Kente. So I told you he was everybody. He's my uh, boss. This guy. He's your boss? Yes. When he was in the military. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, he took us to Senegal. You said all that too? Senegal? Yeah. He took us to Senegal. What's oh, up, yeah. Doug? Okay. This is our son. Right? I know, right? How you doing? Right. I'm Brother Rakin. Uh, Rakin. 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 Yes. Yes. Like Rakin? Yeah, but with a K. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I told you this guy know everybody. Yeah, that's all right. That's a picture of him, sweet mama. I was going to bring him up, but I knew he was over there. So Fiddling with the phone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. he, he sells us a lot of money. <clears throat> he comes out and gives us He's my boss. points. Yeah. He's my boss. Uh, real nice guy. Very nice guy. Yeah. He's never angry. So let's. That's yeah, him. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you say to upset him, he won't. He can walk from here to the way, highway. Yeah. He will walk. Walk. Yeah. Can't you used to take about twenty-one kilometers walking? This is the most. He's very intelligent. Oh my God. And he's very keen, you know. Yeah. He's never in a hairs. I know. I've, I've seen a video with him on the video. I'm like, yeah, he seems like, uh, like he's pretty thorough with his knowledge. Yeah. You know what he's doing. 
All the forestry in the Gambia, I think, can they have a hand on it. They work on it. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. All right, right. From Kafuta, Janjambure, Jalan mm -hmm. Bagadaji, Jalan Mekoto, Sara Sofi. He is a big nursery, yeah. too. He's a big nursery guy. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's he drives, uh, up. He goes back and forth to Senegal too. So. I don't, I didn't really like Senegal. I mean, I like like the people and the and the food was good and uh, the history. Oh man, they got an extensive history. Yeah. But that to live. That's what I said. Yeah, to live. No, that it just um, didn't fit right with me. No, it's, it's like it didn't. I didn't connect with it. To me, it felt more like I was in America, probably on a probably south side of chicago or something i don't know it just seemed like it wasn't it don't seem like it's real yeah. that's what it seemed like to I me mean, it don't seem yeah. like it's real and but i it think it's because of the french yeah. the french aspect of it i think that's what it was and the ladies that was here that was was it no that was the other guy Who telling this? us how they operate in the senegal oh the brother from senegal yeah oh, yeah. yeah he yeah. said if you buy something or you let's say you grow something and you want to sell yeah uh -huh. You gotta send it, like, go to the government you first. Sell it to Senegal first. Before you can sell it to anybody else. And if the yeah. government don't want it, then he'll say, okay, now nah, you can sell it. Yeah, by that time, <laughs> stuff been rotten. And... Hello. <laughs> yeah, you have free money. Yeah. yeah. Here? Here yeah. you do. There yeah. you don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have free money. Whenever yeah. you want to take a booth, you can go and sell it. <laughs> any market to the booth anywhere you drive yeah you stand at the corner just say okay i have fish fish oh i have tomatoes tomatoes yeah. but you can't do that there no I, no. Ah, I know no and then they said they just found uh oil where in senegal off oh, the really? off the coast yeah so now all the i didn't know that yeah they were just telling us that all the europeans are rushing over there now mm -hmm. and i've seen it take it up yeah i've seen a bunch of people we gonna get it though they supposedly found it here up. too yeah definitely yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It's all we yeah, I mean, to get a Batakungu, right yeah, there. Yeah, Batakungu, yeah, I'm right. Oh, Batakungu? I'm in C4. Yes, around Batakungu area. Wow, okay. Now, that's where it's at. Yeah, because the former president had an issue with them because they wanted to come and mine. He told them, look, you do the job, I pay you money. Mm -hmm. And you get out. But I'm not going to give you 75%. That's right. And yeah. I take 25%. Yeah, that's so what, what that was the that main reason. There was a lot of push and pull with him and them. If anybody come, we send them out. Wow. Yeah, I remember, remember that. that. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't like that, man. He ain't like That's that. why he's he not there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said, if you can do the job, I pay. You right. tell me, I pay me this amount of money, I give you half of it, you finish the job, I finish the money. Yeah. You get out. But they say 75%. They take 75%, and you, look citizen, you take 25%. And it's your land. And it's your land. Right. Why would you do that? Because they think you're stupid. They're doing that in Nigeria. Yeah. They do? Yeah. Bless. They do that in Nigeria. Nigeria or somebody don't even have fuel in their own country. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. when yeah. they do have fuel, it's a long line. Yeah. yeah. Long okay. line. I was there. Yeah, yeah. long line. Long queue. Yeah. You, you sometimes three was hours, four hours, you can't even have fuel. Yeah. You're they were supposed queue. to be number one on the continent. And Nigeria is among the... They got the potential yeah. to be number one. Nigeria is among number one in Africa for fuel. So. Yeah. We still go out they let them take it. Mm -hmm. So we going out. Who, who, who's, who's got the hand on that one? Yeah. Who's the white European that's done over there? No, Dan Gopi, he done set up a, a petroleum company. Oh, he did? Yeah, he said he's going to start producing oil coming out of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. he's the richest man, I guess. He's the richest is African. Is that a front? Or is he actually yeah. going to yeah. do yeah. it? Yeah, he's that the one richest one. African. I believe he yeah, yeah. You know, when, you, when they, you're rich up here, you got to play by the rules. Well, he's buddy buddy with uh, Bill Gates, so, so know, that's he what I'm got saying. So is it a joke or just to get up there and get them more of it, or yeah. what? Well, and uh, pretend like you're actually helping. You know, yeah, he financed. You're really I think it's not. him. I think it's him. Yeah, you got approval, though. Yeah, because the fact that he he can, he was able to get that amass that kind of wealth. Yeah. But normally it cuts you off at the knees. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's with him now, and whatever they want to do in Nigeria, he's, they must. Huh? They must consult him. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. I think some people are That's a good position to be in. Yeah. One, one daughter. Yeah. He only got one daughter. But he's not married. No, no he's not no, married. No, he's, he's a not. butterfly. He just, just fly around. Wow, I didn't know he was. Yeah. Uh, 60 some years old now, still playing that. Uh, in Nigeria, yeah. <laughs> counting cars, <laughs> one, two, three, the other one is his truck. This is car. Really? Car, yeah. Too many cars. Too many trucks. Twelve uh, trucks. Oh, so cement, 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 on everything. cement yeah. yeah. 
Everything is covered. So what's going on with our other millionaire here? <laughs> with the cement. Uh, ja Oil. Yeah, Ja Oil. What happened? He started, you know, there was a small actual problem with him and the, the present government. Uh -huh. You know, the other time he was trying to fix some petrol stations. They are, they are fighting for all of the money, you know, trying to discriminate him. Right. You know, trying to say, you should not do this here, you should not do this here. After allowing him to buy the land, because you cannot buy land here, they have to make a survey. So when they make a survey for putting the petrol, they accept it. Right. After the taunting upside down, so he was annoyed. But now he's okay. He's but I mean, the steam in it is closed. It's coming now. It's coming. It's gonna come back. Yeah, it's gonna come back. Oh yeah, because they ripping people off. Well, he's selling. He's having the cheapest cement. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So you can buy five hundred bucks for cement, and they, if you buy from them, they, they are trucks will bring it for you. Bring it to you. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, they said something went wrong. He had to go take care of something in Senegal. Yeah. He wanted to move. Oh, he wanted to move. Yeah. But it's not good. People talk to him, and he said no. So now he's gonna come back. Yeah. His predecessors are working. Yeah, I see that. Those, yeah, many, yeah. But the same I think he has almost 11 sets of predecessors. Yeah. 11. Wow. Up to up country, in my area, he has. Everywhere you go, where I see in the comma, <coughs> up in, even up to my area, I've been coming yeah. by everywhere. Yeah. But that's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming back. That's, you know what happened? This kind of things, there's no competition. Yeah. yeah. If there was competition, it would be good. Mm -hmm. Like somebody can come and say, okay, I also want to bring this man to sign. I'll be back. Okay. And if you have contract from Morocco, you know, if uh -huh. from Morocco, yes. you can just keep on bringing you also. There's the competition. But you have but to he, get, you say, a, approval first, right? No, you just register a business. Oh, okay, okay. You have to go to the GRA. Then you go to the Ministry of Justice. You register at the courthouse. You register your business. Right. You have a team right. number. Right. You get a lawyer. You just gotta get the lawyer for. Yeah. I'm saying, well, why? Yeah, because the lawyer has to sign. Because if your company has a problem, uh -huh. who am I going to face? Oh, yeah, yeah. You need a lawyer who will stand for you, who will be, you know, saying it's okay. Say it's okay. Yeah. Then, just kind of look over things. Then, once, if I told you I'm a non Gambian, you need one Gambian to be with your partner. Okay. In case of any issues, then. It was like what happened before? The first government. Sometimes you don't have those kind of issues. You can just come and do whatever. Mm -hmm. I can remember when I was young, there was one bank here. They robbed all the money and they ran. <laughs> yeah, I heard they that. took all they the money and left. Yeah, so that's why now you need a Gambian. So if they but run, who 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 who, who ran that Gambian. bank? Who ran that bank? Yeah, I think Nigerians were running that bank. I think it was they said the Nigerians. Nigerians. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So they Someone just told me. they just. Continental so they, Bank. It was called Continental Bank. Yeah. They just boom. All those people who were putting money there, they have to come with their Just house. left with their money. They have to go to the government and the government have to pay. Because it's yours. Insure? Yeah. Okay. So now that's why you need a Gambia. Ah. Yeah. yeah, you understand? Yeah. They have to control it for you. If wow. you want Gambia money is responsible. Oh wow. So Wow. So they messed crazy. it up for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's why if you want to build a company here, you must use a Gambia. Oh. That's how that's how it is in Ghana. It should be like that. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have a Ghanaian as uh, you your know, partner. You know, some people are very intelligent. Like, if you open a bank for a business, uh -huh. you can make a lot of money. You have your staff. You can just get it one night. You're gone. Gone. Because just pack up and leave. Why is the director is gone? So nothing more. If you That's have crazy. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense though. If you yeah, if you true. was just out trying to, you know. Do some scams. One Gambian who's honest to you and close to you, uh -huh. you have to be honest to you, really. Because, like, you don't have to be faking, you, have, you don't have to give fake information. You know, you have to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. you know, if you are doing something like, if you are supposed to export only cars, mm -hmm. be frank to him. But if you want to export different commodities, you have to say general matcha. Right. General you know, merchandise. So that yeah. one doesn't. You can bring cars, you can bring lives, you can bring cement, you can bring anything. Whatever you choose. Then you know, uh, if you open a business, then the Gambia Revenue Authority will monitor you. In case of fraud, mm -hmm. you understand? Right. So these are the things that you know. Some, some of the banks are, you know, you me, I'm not a commercial student, but I, according to some people, the banks are very fast. They know wow. how to push money. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they are very good in money pushing. 
So this have to be controlled. You know. Sometimes if you want to buy stuff of, let's say, one million dollar, uh -huh. you know, the go government will take the money, put it at the gallery, revenue, they put it in one place. Right. Then this stuff have to come. What are you gonna just say? I, okay, I need to send to Rakit one million dollar. He send me this stuff. What? It's a game. Maybe you send the money to Rakit, and Rakit just sit. Oh. And you also you apply. It's a plan to go. You just so you have plan. to wait till he send the stuff. Then stuff, yeah, the yeah. government hands over yeah. the phone. So they have to control things. Uh, well, yeah, you won't get beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. so you can make a deal, uh -huh. make everything, no problem. The money is in hand, your lawyer is there, everything is okay. Uh -huh. When the stuff just pulls it. Some people can tell you, it's coming on the way. But give me the money. But give, give me the money. Me yeah. the money. <laughs> <laughs> so Show me the money, huh? Show me the money first, and then yes. I'll send the stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. That we, that in America, I'd be skeptical of doing that. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of you, People have done that, especially with that uh, okay. stuff they go online and say, uh, what you call it, cash out or PayPal. I sent the stuff, just send me the money. Yeah. And, you know, no. Just stuff. No. So you have That's to think about that. So yeah. The way business you're doing, on, you start. Look, you have to. Yeah, the money is there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I think I probably just need to do yeah. general, general. Uh, business. Yeah, general business also when I get to uh, Sierra Leone. Because now that I'm a citizen. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't have to have no partners. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. That's uh, great. <laughs> you can buy unlimited land too, right? Yes. Yeah. In my name. That's a plus, then. No, no lease. That's a plus. That's why I see it's, why you want to go. Down. See now you see why, right? <laughs> that's why I want. You see why I want to go down? Mm -hmm. So you know, I could do anything. I ain't got to get married if I don't want to, but I, I do but plan to like find a good system. Your... You just got to deal with the French, though. No, no, hmm? not, not, no. That's a Francophone country. No. It's part of the Commonwealth. It's a. No, no. It's a Francophone country. No, it's not. It's not English speaking. No, it's English speaking. This is what I'm telling you. It's no, Francophone. Sierra Leone is Francophone. It's not Francophone. Francophone. The French controls Sierra Leone. No, no, no. It's no. Business control. Huh? Business. Business. Business control. British. 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 Yeah. Yes. Sierra Leone. That one, like, I'm looking like what? No. Ghana. It's all I British. Sure the the no, the yeah, the, the, the name the name came from some French guy French, or whatever, yeah. but the country no. Get, it was under the British occupation. I gotta check that. No, I got that. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna check serious. that now. I gotta check that. I was there with talking to the president, he was the one who said it. <laughs> okay, but Sierra Leone, that's French. The name so is French the French named their countries. Yeah, but then saying? they get they get taken over by the British. The <laughs> they, get, they just kept the name. And I apologize because uh, my notes are wrong. My notes say that's a uh, no. It's not a Francophone. Francophone country. No, I thought it was too when I first started looking it up, but no. Well, like even you people, if you stay, you pay your permit. You don't even see you don't, you don't even see no French in the country. All you see is British. I mean, no, really? well, then that's, that's it. Then. Yeah. If you pay your permit, you get. Yes. How many years did you pay? Um, how many years? One year, two years? You talking about lease? No, they are permit. You know, they every year they change. Oh, the resident permanent yes. resident. Oh, okay. Oh, that's every year, once a year. How many times have we did it? Hmm. Four, five years. Five. Okay, gonna be the you, need, you need another maybe four, five, four years to come. So you can apply for resident. Yeah. yeah for for citizens. Yeah, citizens. Okay. Okay. How many years? Yeah. This is Seven our fifth years. I'm saying, like, how many years you got to wait to apply? Seven, eight years. So, yeah, I heard eight. Yeah. Wow. Someone told me eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I think so they're trying to. All, you apply, then you get your citizenship. I think they're trying to fast track it in Ghana now. Yeah, I think here they were saying they were trying to move it a little faster too, but somebody said 15 years. I don't like that's long. You know, the one who are going for 15 years, where are the I know. people who are not married, they are not responsible. You know? Oh, okay, like that. Yeah, I think uh, Tanzania is like country. that too. Ten yeah. years or something, 15. So what about, I hear in Tanzania you stay for so many months and then you got to leave and come back. Is that? Yeah, I think you got to go just across the border. And then come back. That's it? That's what I've been hearing. Oh, I was wow. there in okay, 2019. So That's what they were telling me, but I wasn't for sure because I, I didn't have no. When you say cross the border, just cross over? And yeah, I had to go back. over and I think stay a day. Something like and that, then and then come back and apply. So it had to be, like, I guess, the next date, like the day yours expired. Uh -huh. You had to come back that following, you know. 
day stay after or whatever. Stay in a hotel or then come. Probably, yeah. Oh, wow. I thought you had to go out of the country. Someone it's leaving the country, but it's no, just... No, when I say leave, go back to America. Oh, no, 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 no. Because they don't care where you go. As long as you just... Yeah, as long as you just leave that country. You have left the border, yeah, as long as you leave the country. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't really pay too much attention when they, the guy was explaining it to us because I ain't had no intention on going there. I also hear you can't buy land, but there, I've seen people vote land. Now that I don't know. I don't know how they doing that. I think they, they doing it through maybe a spouse or something. You want the land? The la in Tanzania. In Tanzania. Tanzania, I'm sorry. I wasn't really paying too much attention because I had no intentions on really going. I was just going there just a vacation. Oh, uh, because they told us you have to be married to the, one of the, the Tanzanians. Right, there's expats there. Mm -hmm. We met some while we was there from yeah, uh, there's a Texas. Lot of there. Yeah, we we met with a couple of them, but I at the time I was thinking. What was I? I think I was out of film or whatever, or out of space, so I didn't really do nothing. But we did meet a few of them there, and uh, they were planning on staying because they liked it. Yeah, they said it's beautiful. We know a lot of people who come here visit here. They was actually on the land, and they're there. In where, babe? Tanzania. Tanzania. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, it was nice, but yeah. Yeah, I don't. Right, it's a, a, a British protectorate in 1896, French in. English is spoken there. Uh, so they took it back from the French. From the French. Yeah, yeah. just like Gambia. Yeah. yeah. French used to be in control, then the British come in, so mm -hmm. back and forth like that. Okay. Well, now we know. Yeah, yeah. now we know. Because I'm like, most of the people in the country speak English. Mm hmm, yep. So that's why I can get along just yeah. just mm -hmm. fine. They, they speak... Uh, they were the one before when this COVID started, he was the one who had this country just open. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tanzania. Yeah. yeah. That's why we He's that's why we here now. Right, yeah, I understand that too. And that's why we went. Because mm -hmm. we were supposed to come oh, here. Yeah, I went uh twenty nineteen. Really? Oh okay, yep. Yeah. We, we yet that's to visit, where uh, what you call it in the Browns then, isn't it? Twenty nineteen twenty nineteen? Chico in there. I think that's where they went. Oh, yeah, for no, they came and visit here first. Oh, I thought it was when they moved there over there. No, I think they came. Oh, you said moved. Mm -hmm. when they, oh, yeah, they came and visited visit here. Back in here. Yeah, yeah. Because they were supposed to come here. Right. And when COVID stopped, started, they couldn't get in because it was right. closed so down. Right. So they went to Tanzania. So they went to Tanzania. That's right. Yeah, that's what it was. I was supposed to be coming here. Mm -hmm. I had sent you all an email a year ago. Yeah. Wow. Did she respond? No, Mama didn't respond. Oh, man. Oh. Come on. See? I didn't see anything. I said, well, maybe I send some money. So I sent some money. <laughs> she responded. You sent me some of the cat. You say, uh, yeah, let us know when you get close to coming. I think that's what yeah, you said. Yeah, okay then. Okay. But that was a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. I don't remember. That was I at the height of the, that was at the that was the height of the COVID. Wow. But then I sent another one, and I said, well, it's off. Trip is off. So oh. I'll let y'all know. Yeah. I remember the last one when you said you was on your way. That's yeah. That's what I remember that. One. Yeah, because yeah, that was like, yeah, because I was already like, okay, I'll be here soon because it looked like I'm going to be able to make it this time. Yeah. So what they did was they pushed that trip. We were like, okay, we're going to go, go, go. They, they pushed it out three times. Yeah, I remember you telling me that. Then couldn't do nothing with that. So they said, okay, let's just go to Tanzania. It's open. And that was in Thanksgiving of 2019. So How's we, Tanzania, man? I like it, but I don't connect with it. Really, that was my number two country on the list mm -hmm. of uh, getting up out of America. So we had to been there. People were like, well, you know, why'd you pick Gambia? You didn't even give Tanzania or Zimbabwe a chance. You pick Gambia, you know. So I'm always asking, you know, what is Tanzania like? Yeah, it's, it's nice. You just didn't connect. I mean, what, I think the reason why I didn't connect with it is because the the culture there is like a hodgepodge. So it's like you have your the British were there, French were there. The Portuguese were there, uh, the Arabs were there, the Germans were there. So many of them. Yeah. Mm. So all those influence, little bits and pieces were retained by the Africans. Uh, uh, and of mm. course, and then also with their culture. So when you look at all that and you just like, you see stuff and I'm like, this don't even make sense. Wow. And That's because of like, that different influences. Yeah, they have that many, a lot of things set up? Uh... I mean, it's 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 a well developed place. Right, like I'm saying, like you know, like the Senegambia, you see. Yeah, yeah. The Arab Strip. Yeah, but they don't, yeah they don't really have strips like that. Not well, like Senegambia. But let's say the stores. Yeah, yeah, plenty of plenty of everything. 
It's, it's, not, it's mostly, yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's a it's mix. Like this is Africans. It's a mix. Yeah, it's a mix. But more mainly of them. No, it's mainly of Africans. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's mainly African. The, the, the brothers run everything okay, that's good. that is important. But now a lot of the shops, like the bigger centers, mm -hmm. like like a strip mall, we would call a strip mall in America, mm -hmm. they run those. So that'd oh, be wow. like the Arabs oh, they run or the those. Indians. Mm -hmm. But now all your little, you know, all your little side street vendors and, you know, the markets mm -hmm. are the mm -hmm. brothers. And I mean, right them, them suckers go for miles. Uh -huh. So they got all that down packed. Now the bigger they market. Like Harlards set up. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, you know, of course. You know, you're going to see Mercedes and Lexus. Right, that's what I'm saying. Is it set up? Is it uh, Same, yeah, just, yeah. It's just like the, okay. everywhere else. Okay. They basically got the cars and all that sold up. You know that. Yeah. You know, or you know that. Now, us with the red, other stuff, the carvings, the the fashion, the bees, the this, the that, the fruits, the, all that, the, all that, we got all that sold up. But now when you want like American products, then you would go to the Arabs. Really? Yeah. So That's you could go in there, yeah, you could go in there and get like Reynolds aluminum foil, or you could get, uh, uh, what's that other stuff? Baby, what's that? Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. oh, Sweet baby out. Ray's. Right. <laughs> so you know like the shops here in the Gambia, uh -huh. You know, you know, here in the Gambia, a lot of shops have a lot of American products in there. You can't go into a, a Tanzania shop with that the Tanzania Tanzanians, you mm -hmm. know, got set up have American products. I didn't see that. It might be there, but I didn't see it because I was on the tour, so I wasn't oh, able to venture out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it was all structured, and you had to be up at a certain time, and we had our you know spots that we were going that day. Okay. But now the history is deep. When you go to the museums, oh, definitely, definitely, man, definitely. you realize like, man, they fought off the Germans, the French, the Portuguese, uh, the British. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something, man? And they still, you know what I'm saying, the most popular group or the populated group in the country. Mm -hmm. So Ain't all the police, the military, the government, the courts, the president, all that, the brothers. Mm -hmm. So he had it set up, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. So I was impressed. They but, say, I know, I was reading early today that where he was paying for all the children to go to school, it's free. I mean, everything was set up for him. And they came in now. Now, um, now it's going to be up in there, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. I'm sure it's going to be. Who's that lady that took over, though? It's a lady that took over? Yes, a lady yes, took over, the, she vice, was president. the vice president. Oh, okay. He was, I think he was Catholic, and she's Muslim. Yeah. So, see how that turned out. Yeah. They said he was a good president. Yeah, I like it. I like it. That's a beautiful place. And the food, oh my God. Really? They got so much food. Seafood for your butt. For real? Yeah, <laughs> well, they, hey, I got some pictures on my on my page of the plates and restaurants we was going in. It just blow your mind. How long were y'all there? I think we were there for 10 days. 10, 10 days. days. Cause ain't uh, Sister Shanice and them talk, They had a tour going there I a little while back. I think so, a little while back there in was in Zimbabwe. No, nah, it was Tanzania. No, I said before the COVID hit. That's where they were supposed oh, to okay. go. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I enjoyed. They were going every year. But I wouldn't want to, <clears throat> you know, repatriate that. No. Wow. Ooh. Well, we definitely want to visit it. Though. No, it's worth visiting, especially mm -hmm. go to uh, Zanzibar. No, we didn't get a chance to go. How about the like the zoos or the? We went to a we, we was on a for, 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 okay, I safari. Okay, I always get the safari. Did you see any animals like that? Man, they, I guess they was eight. They fed them before we came or something. Oh, so they was man. they all up under the trees, <laughs> chilling. chilling. Like, I about wow, <laughs> man! I could have got out and walked the thing, you yeah, know. Yeah, I'm telling you. It was a lot of animals, but I ain't really seen. Them. I said we got to go to the uh, Serengeti. Serengeti, yeah. Okay. That's where the real action is. Yeah. So now that's the, the the next trip. He said we'll do the same thing we did this trip, but then we'll do it like an extra five day extension mm -hmm. to go to the Serengeti. Was it the same guy that came here? With yeah, yeah, to Oh, okay. That's yeah. Good. So, so how do you link up with these uh, tourist people? YouTube. Yeah. No, no. So, so you go on YouTube and say, I want to go. No, on I just happen to. No, I just happen to be on there. Just you know. Cause I don't watch TV, so YouTube is my TV. Right. So I'm just on there, and then you know, uh, Dinus. Yeah, that's. So so Dinus Amir, I'm on his, you know, subscription. So I'm looking at the video. I'm like, okay, what, what's coming up next? And you know, it always give you like a recommended. Uh -huh. So the recommended came up, and I'm like, 
uh, who wants to go to Ghana or something like that, the title was. And I was like, damn, I'd like to go to Ghana. Mm -hmm. I've always been saying it for years I'm coming to Africa because I've been basically in the movement for at least 30 years. Uh, okay. And then uh, he was on there and he was talking. I'm like, he sound convincing, but this is the internet. I, I don't supposed to trust people on the internet. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. And that was a stranger danger type of thing, you know? Right. So I was like, but that, he sounds so convincing. So he left his number and an email address at the end of the um, video. So I emailed him. He, I mean, like within an hour, he emailed me back. So I'm like, huh? Check oh, that okay, out. check hey, that what's out. What's the name of the uh, tour? It's uh, African African Africa for the Africans oh, dot yeah. org. Yeah, that's yeah. the same. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. He said the same thing I was thinking. Because that's that originated it's out of the in, car. It's one in the car, yeah. Yeah, that's a brother up there from America. In the, Maybe they're in all the together. Car. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. We, we hooked up with him. Um, okay, RJ. RJ. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we hooked up with RJ. He came uh, and we met at the restaurant. All right. But uh, I think his is um, dot com, I think. And then, oh, so he's not actually with that? No, no. They just both got the same name. Just got the same. Just pick dot org and dot com. And dot com. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, and that's exactly so. That's why I guess we linked up, and they did an interview at the restaurant. So we got a chance to meet him, which was great because I was hoping to try to hook up with him, and I didn't even know. We sit in the restaurant and we talking. And all of a sudden, he walk in. I'm like, this can't be no coincidence. Yeah, ain't that so? And they come to find out, but money had called him. So. Yeah, that he had called him and told him yeah. where we was going to be. So he came and met with us or whatever. So that was a blessing. But then let me tell you a story. So, you know, of course, I didn't believe it because you know it's like. Thirty-seven hundred dollars for the tour. It's like Want twelve. Me this? You could you keep it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he 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 doesn't care. Okay. That's basically what his his rate is. Okay. And if you want to like do something extra, it'll be extra. It's like with anything. Let else. me cut this because I might I don't want to say something. I you know. Okay. Well, okay, he's I'm, recording now, so. Yeah, I'm yeah, recording. That's right. Okay, well I keep recording. Then. So I didn't want to you know shell out that kind of money. So until at least I meet the person. Mm -hmm, right. So, you know, I'm an over the road tanker driver. Mm -hmm. So I drive chemicals. So we go to uh, Atlanta where he's based at all the time. So I just went in the office and said, hey, look, book me a trip going to Atlanta and let me stay down there for a couple of days. And they were like, OK, fine. And they were like, well, what you want to stay for? Like, I got family down there. So they were like, OK. So I went down there and called him. He called me back and we met. Man, we talked for like five hours. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is meant. Yeah, meant to be paid my money i think i only had like a month no two months before the trip just got my visa in a nick of time i already had my passport so and you 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 pay for the trip yeah and you stayed there for how many, how many i days? think it was like 12 days that first trip 12 days and, and the total package was was that yeah and they take you where just different uh we went to basically all the cultural and historical sites in ghana okay name ceremony basically three four-star resorts all meals were basically included bus air-conditioned bus you know every oh, okay. pretty much everything okay. all the uh water and this and pretty much everything you wanted to do was on that tour and i mean i had a ball i had a ball and i mean that trip that first trip that i went with him it was 45 of us 45 okay man don't never go nowhere with 45 people. Ooh, too many. <laughs> too many. Wow. That was a lot of folks. But we had a ball. That's good, man. We had a ball. Oh, well, man, it went so well. I went three more times after that. Same trip. I like, I can't get it all in on one trip. Yeah, so right. I went back, went back, went back. And then we went to Tanzania. Then we went to South Africa. South Africa, too? Yeah, I've been to South Africa, too. Dang. So we've been, we've been around. That's good. Yeah, and then we came travel. here to uh, Senegal and the Gambia. Mm. So I, I, I thank awesome. God for the brother mm -hmm. and yeah, brother Dinus. We want to do that. Yeah, and brother Dinus. And then every time I'm in Atlanta, I call him. He come get me, come to his house. We cook. Dinus. No, no. Uh, Bo Money. Oh, the one who. Yeah. Is he still here? No, no. no. He left, yeah, right? he left. Okay. Yeah, he took the group back. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't stay. He got it. Yeah, he always working, and he got to work on the next trip. I think the next That's trip good. is what's the next trip? Oh, uh, Ghana. December, Ghana. Ghana's the next trip in, in May. May. Ghana. Yeah. Oh, May. Yeah. Wow, he's busy. Yeah. yeah. So he does Ghana in May, busy. and then in November, Tanzania, Tanzania. and then December, yeah. Ghana again. Yeah. Then after, well, he's getting it in. Yeah, he is. <laughs> wow. 
Well, he been he doing this seven. To. He been doing it seventeen years. Seventeen years. He been bringing people over. Yeah. That's why I say it's like a prize that you ain't never heard of, right? But what is he not really into YouTube? He don't. He don't really do YouTube. Now you go on there and type his name in. It's going. You're gonna see thousands of videos, but he's not really into the YouTube space like okay. that. You know. I was lying to him. He gave me a bag. <laughs> see, that's the man there. And then, then, I, then on this last trip, I went to see them with another group. And then with that group is where I met Dinah's at, finally. Because he was the one really that sparked that, let's, let me get my butt off, off the person. couch, basically. And, yeah, met him in person. Met him in person after yeah. being subscribed to him for at least five years, wow. four years or whatever he it's been. He always into uh, Kenya. Yeah. I thought it was Nigeria. 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 Yeah, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria. Now, I was thinking of going with him. I may still do. I don't know. To Nigeria? Yeah, because when I met him, I had you know I had to explain to him like, why am I here? Because I, I had no idea he was gonna be there. Mm -hmm. But I hadn't watched his channel in a few days, so I didn't know he was gonna be there. He was here the, when we got that award. Mm -hmm. Was it last year? Yeah, Saeed. Yeah, Saeed is up there in yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, Saeed is in Nigeria. Happy Companion. Happy Do Companion. You know him? THC. I think I seen him once or yeah, twice. He, he's there he now. He moved it again here too. Oh, he moved. He's up there in Ghana. I mean, he's up there in Nigeria, Nigeria now. I was, I was shocked. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in immigration, but you know if that's where you got to fill out the paperwork for your your citizenship. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden he come walking in. I'm like, is this is this real? Because <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was like, yeah, I'm here to get my citizenship. And then I, because he didn't know me, I'm just a subscriber. So you probably was there when he got his then. Yeah. Okay. We was there. We was there together. But that's what I'm saying. I didn't know he was gonna be there. Oh, okay. You know, I know what, I, but my itinerary was saying I know why I was there and what was going on, but I had no idea because he was, was he was so basically by himself. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, he yeah, was he was by himself. himself. You see what I mean? Now I'm with the group, and it was about sixteen of us that got our citizenship. Mm -hmm. And then I explained yeah. to him like why I'm here, and it's all because oh, to the he, government. You had to explain that to them. No, no, to him. Oh, oh. To yeah, to Dinah. Like why I'm here and who I am, and you know how I, I, I appreciate him. That was when we, he was here then. What year? You said 2019, right? No, no, this, this was... 2020? Just, yeah, just a it few months ago. 2020. Yeah, this is in Three January. Yeah. Yeah, this is in January. Was it 2020 or 2021? He 2021. just got his. Yeah, so. 2021. Okay, yeah. We got it, uh, we got it uh, January 5th, yeah. 2021. So he left from here, and that's when he went to Nigeria. Well, he got yeah. Nigeria and Sierra Leone, don't he? Yeah. I mean, he had just went to see her now. Oh, okay. He was telling me he was leaving that day when he was supposed to come out here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yeah, day he no, called. I remember, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Gotcha. And I was so, surprised. So you're a YouTuber too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, go uh, let our subscribers know no. what your page is. Oh, uh, <laughs> and what you do and how to Well, my name is uh, Rakin Kalik, and I'm out of Chicago, West Side. West Side! Shite Town. Austin High School. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Check that out. And um name of my channel is Go Ham Lifestyle Blogs. I'm gonna try to get Sweet Juicy Mama to put it in the uh, comment section. Go Ham Lifestyle Blogs. You just sent me something too on that. Yeah, I did. And I think I just subscribed to so yeah. <laughs> I think I did. I was like, is this him? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I'll make sure Sweet Juicy Mama puts it in the comment section because Yeah, this time because I never do it. Yeah. Because we <laughs> Because I noticed that like, if, if people don't put it down there, when people come to look, they don't know what to look for. They forget. No, they yeah. stop hitting me. Huh? Looking at yeah. the video. And, yeah, they... No, they'll tell me, where is it? Yeah. Sweet Juicy Mama, so I have to send it to them. <laughs> See? <laughs> so this saves, a, this saves a process so people yeah. can just go to it without anybody having to, you know, right. ask you 50 times. Because people right. be asking me, well, what's your channel? So in the group, I just put it in the group chat. And then all people got to do is just hit it and, and go right and to go it. Right to you, yeah. So that's best to me. That's the best because a lot of folks, even though it's kind of cool that we do it and we're getting really used to it, because I'm getting used to it too. But I know I, my age kind of fooled people, but I'm right up there with Rick. <laughs> yeah. We're only a couple years apart. Uh -huh. right. So it fools people because they be thinking like, oh, you look like a young guy. Well, I may look like one, yeah. but I'm I'm challenged too with, when it comes to this uh, internet Technology. stuff. Yeah. But I'm getting that's better me. and better every day. You know what I mean? I, I can get better, but when I got so much on my plate and so yeah. much, like, I'm just getting on out of there. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't do as much as a lot of folks, but I try to get enough in, especially when I do my trips. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I want people to see there's nothing for you to fear. Basically, you're, paradi you're paralyzed by fear. 
Mm-hmm. That's what that is. That's the only fear. Because mm-hmm. there's nothing happening. Really, people are not even paying you no attention. That's it. <laughs> you pay, exactly. Yeah, ain't nobody even thinking about you. You, yeah. you walking around, you look just like them. They, you know, they don't know. That's, That's true. It. So it's a, it's a small world now. I mean, what's the probability that me and this brother who went to school together, Austin High School, West Side of Chicago, I was a senior, he was an incoming freshman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's the probability that we were bumping to each other over here in the Gambia? On the African continent, man, wow. that's that is that. I know that is that is <laughs> unbelievable. When you said unbelievable, Austin, I was like Austin. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Austin High so, School. They changed yeah. it to Austin Career Com- uh, yeah. Academy. Academy. Yeah, Austin yeah. Academy. <laughs> we went back in 2018. I went over there to Austin. They had a gated off. Uh-huh. Had a football field outside yeah. the practice. We used to have to go over to this park over there off of Central, um, right off of Larry. What is it? Off of Harrison and Central? Mm-hmm. I don't know oh, what, what park. Oh, you're it talking about Columbus Col- Park, is it? Yeah, it's Columbus Park. Yeah, Columbus. Okay, yeah, yes. that's what. Yeah, we Columbus have to walk Park. All the way from 230 no, 231 North Pine. All, all the, the way, way to Halston High way School. To practice football, man. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, that's. Did you play football too? No, I played like a. I got on the team, but you know, I was I was a hard hit. Oh, okay. Then. So I couldn't. The coach was yelling at me. I couldn't take it. Coach yeah. Scott, the yeah, Coach, yeah, Coach Scott yeah, was Scott, yeah, he was Coach that's Scott. Funny. He, he was, was my, head coach he, and, and he was yeah. He was my math teacher at Orr High School. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, he was at our wedding. He went to Orr. Our wedding. Really? Yeah. So so when you played, I mean what like yes, there's some DeVos running around? Uh I can't rem- I can't remember. There were some DeVos brothers. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to figure out who was left behind when we left. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see, I see. Because I now you you know Buddha. Yeah, no Buddha. Uh Victor Simmons. Uh, he was one year behind me, so when I was left as a senior, you know, nah, he, he, you know, we kind of blended in. Now, Victor was distinguishable. You could pick him out the crowd. So sure good. Because he was so. He was a grown you know, man. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I know that the Bowles was behind us, and there was a guy, uh, Chetwin Rogers. He was a real big, you know, uh, he heavy set guy. He was really talk to he's, us. Yeah, he's yeah. a he's a Facebook yeah. friend, and he's a pastor now up in Chicago. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out who was left behind when I left. You know what I'm saying? The only person I remember is Buddha, and I remember Coach Scott. Coach Scott, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember he, he was young. The president. I mean, uh, principal. The principal? principal yeah, yeah, it must be. That's after I got out of there then, because yeah, I don't been remember that. We were trying to reach him, man. You know, yeah. when you said that when we met the first time, right? Yeah. We would put a shout out trying to get back in touch with Azari, Victor, and Coach Scott. Now, Coach Scott is our Facebook friend, but you know, he don't say I, I don't think he's active on that page now. He's probably not. Now, when I was coming up through high school, he was at the wedding. Though. He was heavily into the movement, man. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was into his Africanness, man, and uh, just I mean that that kind of uh, uh, ignited a little flame in me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He was saying something to the effect that you know. Be careful when you go to these white schools because I was getting a part of that yeah. football scholarship. I remember him saying that. So he said, when you go there, watch out for them white girls <laughs> and stuff. He was, he, was, he was preparing you. Yeah. You know, you you coming up out of inner city, going to a predominantly a great white environment, you don't know. Yeah. But he was like, watch out for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember him saying that. So. Yeah, I was really just like, hard hit. I didn't, I couldn't stay with it, but really? I remember him yelling at me. He yelled at me one time. And I was just like, I can't do it. For real. And yeah. then my mama wasn't, you know, she wasn't strong. She, I was like, when the coach yelled at me, you know, mm-hmm. she's like, oh, well, you ain't got to go back. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I was on the rest of us girls too. Yeah. In, in really? Class. He was my math teacher. Wow. Like or, wow. Yeah. Or high school. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That's amazing. That's why I said when I heard Rick saying it one day on the video, he was like, Austin High School? Mm-hmm. He, it can't be the same Austin I'm thinking of. Yeah. And then yeah. when you said Buddha, I'm like, oh, yeah. It ain't, no, ain't no question which yeah, one he talking it. about now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was me, Victor, Nazareth, Cecil. You know, it was, a, it was like a bunch of us. What's the guy that played, you say, he was the pretty boy? Oh, that's Ronald Rogers. Ronald. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the quarterback. He was a quarterback during the time I, that uh, our, me and Victor was coming through and stuff, you know. He okay. Like, yeah, Ronald Rogers. Wow. And, and I think they're still up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if you know any uh, Dunbars up there in Chicago, man? I remember it was well, some. What, what, what part of Chicago? I mean, are you on the west? west you are the west side. Yeah, right? yeah, Cicero and uh, Monroe. Okay, because okay, Mom, yeah. of, of Mom is off of Chicago Avenue and what? 
Yeah. We ain't got to go on into detail, but, you know. Yeah. Because she'll be jabber John about the right. you told where I stay. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, but uh, anyway, yeah, it's a small Tulsa, world. Augusta. Okay. Yeah, see, now I ain't really hang down that way. Tulsa yeah, right. or high school, yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah, on that Tulsa side. Tulsa. Yeah, okay. yeah. Your sister on Morrow, then. Yeah, because yeah, I'm Tulsa. back on this Tulsa. side. Tulsa Larry used to live okay. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the Dunbar is a wife. big family on the west side yeah, of Chicago I I when you start going into an area called K-Town. Yeah, but I was right, right there, because, you know, K-Town is right, really right off of Cicero. Yeah, because yeah, we stayed like come West End and Costner mm-hmm. back in the day when I was Oh, playing. wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like now, I went to school over there. Yeah, right, right, right off of that. I, yeah, I went from, like, I, Tilton. Oh, you went to Tilton? To, Tilton to a place called West Garfield. Oh, right. Yeah, I know West Garfield. But Garfield, it's not West Garfield no, anymore. It's a different name. But it was West Garfield back then. Yeah, I forgot the name. It used to be Garfield here in Lawrence. The one Street. on Madison? Down the road. Yeah, yeah on Madison. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So after I left, it turned into a church. Yep. Oh, really? That's what it is. It's a church. And so after I left Lawrence, then I went to Austin Branch. You went to Branch? That's right off of Washington. Right off Washington. And then finally, after that, I went to, moved over to uh, Austin High. So he yeah. right in there. Yeah, but, you know, and, and it's funny, I wonder if it changed uh, well, some years after I got out of there. Now, when I started high school in 1977, it was like maybe three or 4,000 freshmen. Fast forward four years later, 1981, when it's time to graduate, it's 300 mm-hmm. graduating from that class of three or 4,000. Where did all those people go, bro? You know where they went. Yeah. The street. So, so was it like that? Did that continue three years? Still was like that. It, it fast tracked. Wow. Fast track because yeah. that's the reason why I ended up getting kicked out for fighting. For real? Yeah. Wow. But they was ready to kick me out before that because I was selling weed. In school. For I, real. I had to get get some money, man. Uh, yeah, hey. It is I what it know. is. Yeah, yeah. I'm wearing the same yeah. pair of pants yeah. three days in a row. And then all it took was somebody to say, man, you had them pants on yesterday. It was like, on. Like, I got to go to the block. I got to go to the block. I got to go to the block, you know. Because when I was there, man, they had burnt up the, I think yeah. it was the third floor. In school, man, they just yeah, burnt up. Yeah, burnt I, up the yeah, floor. yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> they, were, we, uh, they were threatening teachers and stuff. Yeah, man, I know? threatened a couple wow. of them. Yeah, they were threatening teachers, man. I, well, I was like, I can't even believe I got up out of there. Yeah, they said you was fortunate if you got up out of there, and I was like, I really didn't think it was a big deal because I never went to class. I didn't either. I, I graduated with a one point two uh, grade point average. I didn't go to class. For real. I'm, I'm talking about like 50 days. Anybody day, go 50 days? <laughs> I used to, in a day. No, yeah. I went to a couple. I like went to the class. I'm gonna tell you which classes I went to. I went to the classes that had the prettiest girls. For real? Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so in lunch. So yeah, I went to lunch. Yeah. Four, fifth, and sixth lunch uh, period. I had to, you know had to have a little card to get really? in. Yeah. I, I would talk to the. I forgot who I talked to, and I would get them to give me one for each period. So I just hang out in the lunchroom for three periods. That's where I see your cousin yeah. every time. Yeah. Lunch, at the table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I got my little right. friends I'm hollering at. And then I went to like two classes because I had the girls that do my work. Mm-hmm. Then I would go home. Wow. The guys always had us doing their work. Yeah. I, I, remember, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember a time in, in, in high school. <laughs> it's crazy. Where, you know, the janitors, uh-huh. you know, you buy them like a fifth of liquor. Man. Yeah. They give you these keys, so we always had keys to the school. <laughs> so when everybody's gone, we in there swimming and stuff, man. Yeah, everybody I remember like, that. Everybody like, wow, you know. I didn't have a key, but I remember <laughs> yeah, them telling me to come up there so yeah. I could swim. Oh yeah, man. Like uh, uh, when school was out, we'd be in there swimming, man. In the like they got the big gym. Yeah, the big gym. Basketball. Then they got this the little small smaller gym. They had the smaller gym. We had keys to them all, man. Yeah. We just go up in there and stuff, man. And, yeah, uh, we were bad. Yeah, when yeah, I look yeah, back bad. at it, we were. We did, yeah. too. We had a key. We just put the key, uh, can in the in side. In the door. Oh, yeah. And let yeah. somebody yeah. in. Go to the chicken yeah. house yeah. down. Get t- yeah. 10 pieces of chicken wing for $2, $2 <laughs> over there on Chicago Avenue. Yeah. I wonder if it's still like that now, man. Nah. 20? Hell no. Straighten it up, son. No, man. You can't do hardly nothing. It's like... Nazi Germany Probably almost. Got police For real. Inside now. Police yeah. inside. They got all them doors chained, yeah. welded shut, gated, all kind of stuff. You ain't. They, they got too much. You control. ain't getting out now. Mm-hmm. Man. No, no, yeah. ain't no escaping now. Yeah, I guess we were lucky. We had it made. We had it. right. We had it made. We had it made. Back then, they yeah. gave us too much trust. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. They was they was tightening when I was there, mm-hmm. but we still had a lot of yeah. yeah. You know. And now they have like. Hospitals or nurseries or something in nurse? school, yeah. In order, they, they say they built something where if you, you know, all the ladies get pregnant. Oh yeah. They have where oh, yeah. you can go and take your baby. Think that's all. Yeah. 
I, I don't know if it's still that way. But I believe it is. I remember they kept saying, Rick, go to school. Go. I mean, you got to go to class. Like, man, I'm going pro. I don't need this. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't brother, know what I was going to do. Yeah, this brother named Dexter Manley here went pro. So they kept trying to show me this this newspaper. He had went pro and he couldn't read. Wow. He used to sit at the table and tell his wife, you know, I'm eating, man. Read it, read it to me. So she would read his letters and stuff. Mm -hmm. And never knew the brother was illiterate, man. Wow. So they were trying to tell me, make sure this don't happen. I don't need that. I would listen. I would like you, bro. I don't need this, man. I'm going pro, you know. My name, brother, did go pro, man. Went in the arm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, man. This well, at least you, uh, you did. That was a good thing because I ended up doing something stupid and had to go to jail. For real? Yeah, I did yeah, a couple of days. Jail, man. Come on now. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But I, be honest, it was a good thing for me. Mm -hmm. It helped straighten you out. Yeah, straighten you out. I was like, I was, because I, I think what it was, I had a lot of potential, mm -hmm. but I couldn't see it. Oh, man. And then the people oh, I was around couldn't see it. Yeah. But then when I got there, I just happened to fall in with the, the Revolutionary Brothers. So that was like the brothers that was there from the 60s that had like supposedly killed state troopers and yeah really? back 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 when they was like hunting us down yeah yeah and they was like okay yeah when you come for us we ready and they they was ready oh yeah that's true so, and there was so a they place talked on to you that's good. yeah, yeah on there was a place on madison where i think they said they came up there and did something to malcolm x or something was that was that right thing so we, we don't hear that what did you say? Um, was there something that, because there was something on Madison or whatever, like by Bull Stadium, where there was a run in with the Black Panthers or either uh, Malcolm X. You're talking about that, that door. That, it's some kind of, it was a little building that yeah, there was that a was run in. Madison I mean, it was and, ran down. I think it was Madison and Marlboro. Okay, but it was yeah. some kind of famous shootout. Now, her father was a gangbanger, yeah. man, big time gangbanger. Was, was you street. riding? Of course. Okay, I wasn't. We couldn't. Uh, folks or. No, nah, I'm just nah. We don't need to go on that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to say. Dude. I mean, you know what I'm saying? People know. Sports, sports got me out of that. My sports. father was the chief of the vice lord. Yeah, the vice lord. Oh, yeah, I figured that. Well, if he's from the west side, yeah. Yeah, but he I, actually, I wasn't riding, man. When he came out of the pen in the 60s, that's when they formed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, all my. Baby got a book on. Protection from him. Martin Luther King, her father. Mm -hmm. They got books out about him, too, man. Her father. So. Who was it? You mind telling me his name? Alfred Alfonso. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got books out of books out about him. Mom went to jail for him. Mm -hmm. That's oh, why yeah. I was born in prison. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is that's crazy. That yeah. Small world. Small uh, world. Yeah. She he shot someone, but she took the rap. So he didn't have to go to jail. Yeah. I I, I know time, of him. I don't know him, but I know oh, of you him. Heard the name? Of course. Yeah. You know, from the west side, man, my whole family, they've they been there. All on 18th, 16th, mm -hmm. and Pulaski. We came oh, off of 16th. Yeah. Then we moved on, then we moved off 16th, I think it was, I don't remember exactly which street. 16th and what? I can't remember, because that's when Granny was still living. Yeah, so I Granny and them was over there, and then she bought the house on Costa, I mean, not on the Costa, but on uh, Cicero and, and, and Monroe. Okay. So we moved off, but they moved off 16th. Mm -hmm. So you already know, they brought, it, they brought that mess with them. Yeah, for real. Yeah. To Cicero. But when we was I, coming up the south side, I mean, the south side was clean. They said it was yeah. the, the west side it was. was ragged. It was. And the west side was ragged. I mean, just just trash everywhere. Now they said the, west, the, south, the south side, side is bad. In reverse. I don't it, know. It's got, it's got a certain aspect, because I'm on the south side every day, because I work south. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. But uh, it's I mean, like. There's so much killing now on the west yeah, side. Yeah, it's because that's, it's, that's, that's the, yeah, they fighting, the, the two factions are fighting. Still fighting. Yeah. Years like that later, man. I mean, if you you kill my brother, my cousin, they coming back. Just you, you're yes, never exactly. gonna end that. You can and kill that's my family all I hear members. Now on, uh, yeah, that's it. On Facebook or YouTube. Yeah, if you're not in went neither one of them, you pretty much can walk through pretty pretty safely. Okay. But they hunt each other down. So oh. when we got out the military, now I mean, we decided to stay in Clarksville, Tennessee. But there was a pool from the family trying to get us to move back to Chicago. And they was trying to get us to go outside, like Palos Hill. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, uh, King Drive or something else. Or Co Co Carbondale? Carbondale? Uh, something no, like C.C. Something start with a C. I think it's Country, Country Club Hills. Country that's Club it. Hills. That's, that's it, it, brother. That's it. I was that, like, yeah. and then, and then we saw a picture of it recently. We were like, whoa, all these apartments abandoned and yeah. stuff, man. And I was like, wow. What happened? Thank God we didn't go and back. And Maywood Park. Maywood, They yeah. even put that yeah. out there. And I was yeah. like, when you go back now and you look at it, it's like. Oh, you mean Merrill's Park? Huh? Merrill's Park? 
No, Maywood. I'm sorry, Maywood. Maywood is west. Not though, Melrose, but Maywood. No, Maywood is south. Yeah. No, Maywood is west. It's west. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like out there by Harlem and yeah. uh, Oak Park. Yeah, Oak no, Park. Melrose is stuff. not Melrose. It was mainly it was May Maywood. That's west, like you said. Yeah, you don't want to go to Maywood, because most of the west side is moving. They said that is That's cool. what they do, man. They call it murder wood. Ex do they really? Yeah, they said that place is hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot spots. Yeah. And I Ooh. remember in the 80s when I used to, we used to drive up and back back and forth there. It wasn't like that. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, the the people from the west side moved over there. After they tore because, those projects. Yeah, right? but even before that. Oh, really? Because a lot of folks wanted to get out of the west side. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't go to Old Park. They ain't having it. Mm -mm. Yeah, true. So whatever reason, they end up two suburbs over. I just know they over. said these road, railroad tracks don't cross. Don't cross. Them. Yeah, yeah, that's all I remember. Wow. Yeah, it's still sort of the same. I mean, you got more blacks in Old Park, but those are more affluent. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not bringing in riffraff, and they're keeping their children in check. Some of your family out there. Yeah, Maywood. Old Park? Maywood. Maywood? But they're scattered. Mm -hmm. They're scattered, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still got a couple. I got a couple people in Maywood. What it has Melrose looking? Melrose, Melrose Park is good. Mm -hmm. I used to work out there, mm -hmm. uh, trucking company that's there. Uh, I used to work for them. Only but. thing I remember about Melrose Park, I had a job out there working with. It was around tax time. We were filing the stuff, and then there was the uh, what's the name? Candy the Carnival. Candy Lane was it? Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was uh, yeah, I know what he's talking about. Was they it called Candyland? I think it was Candyland. It was Candyland, wasn't it? I don't remember. You know where, where, where your mom and them took the kids? That yeah, it was like a little bit of a little bit of amusement down park. They didn't have no money or something. Kitty Land. Kitty Land. That's there it. you go. Kitty Land. That's the only thing I remember about Melrose. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the little yeah. whites was out there. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. They still out there. They're not going nowhere. Like Niles. Yeah, Stone Park, mm -hmm. all the Marys. Ain't nobody going nowhere. That's the only thing I remember about them. No, nah, they're not going nowhere. I keep getting distracted, man. I see. Of, uh, this is the first day of Ramadan over here. I know, Canada. right? And so they modified their work schedule. And so they said, okay. They said they come in later? I was going to ask you that, too. No, they're going to leave earlier. Some of them are going to leave early. Not all. See Mostly the men. So was it said they came early? No, no. They're coming mm -hmm. at the same time. They're they just leaving early? They want to leave early because they want to. Prepare for dinner? Yeah, do all that stuff. Break the fast. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, so. I'm fasting, too. Oh, are you ready? You mm -hmm. Muslim? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were Muslim. Yeah. Oh, I should have got it, man. I should have got it. Yeah, I should have got that. Though. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so, uh, he got the uncle so is, right there. Exactly. Yeah. So, is this interrupting you now? I mean, no, I, I wasn't. I, I, I'm be honest with you. I haven't fasted for Ramadan in some years. Now, I've been Muslim like 30 years. Okay. But knowing because of my job, I can't do it because right. it gives, You know, for Ramadan, it does give exceptions. Mm -hmm. So if you traveling. Or you with, with child, or you you uh, elderly, sickly, mm -hmm. you don't have to. You don't have right. to participate. Okay. But because of my job, I haven't been able to because I do hazmat tanker. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's uh, terrible chemicals that 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 kill you. So yeah. because of that, and I'm driving during the day, ten hours. Yeah. I gotta eat. So you you drive from the Midwest to the South and then back. I mostly my lane is pretty much. I don't go west. Anything west of uh, Kansas, I don't go. So from Kansas all the way back to the East Coast. Really? Up and down the eastern seaboard, um, Ohio Valley, the south, Texas, then, of course, Chicago, then the upper, like, uh, Minnesota and mm -hmm. Michigan and all that. I do all that. So you be logging in some hours, then. I mean, yeah. some miles. Man. I got over a million miles. Wow. wow. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. How long have you been? Uh, Na uh, uh, it's nine years. Nine years. I've been doing hazmat seven okay i knew our son tried to drive for about what 24 hours <laughs> why you look like this for, because that was funny <laughs> he said when i he rolled, that up rolled it, it. <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would drive which one which one which one? Oh, uh what's yeah. the name uh junior. junior ricky junior, junior. okay yeah. yeah he's about to go to work tomorrow yeah. he's about to go to work tomorrow yeah. i'm like for the weekend for the for, for training we're like you junior driving a I'm looking like, okay. I hope you don't get mad at me. I love you, son. <laughs> yeah, we love you. <laughs> yeah, you should have you stuck with it. I do really well. Wait a minute, let me see. He ain't going to see you. <laughs> he couldn't pass the test. Some test he had to take. The hazmat? No, it was a test. 
Just drive, you know, you got back up the test. trailer. Oh, okay, the road test. Stuff, the I don't know if That's it was what it's called, the road test. test. But something he had, he couldn't pass. Well, you got to pass the road test, and then you got to pass the hazmat test. Right, and probably there's Maybe some a written test, too. Something, I think that's what it was. I think it's a written test. The no, it's no, it's no, it's no written Whatever portion. Whatever hazmat. So maybe that's what it's it the was. hazmat. It's it's true and false and uh, multiple choice. I don't know something he could pass. Well, that was the test. It's got to be that then, because a lot of it it, it kind of keeps a lot of people out of this end because of that test. That but test? to me, it's not. I don't know. Maybe just because I'm serious about and I it. I think he didn't like it. Yeah, that could have been Cause, it. Because well, this was just all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah he has never moment. did anything like this. Mm -hmm. Wow. He's done, the biggest car he ever drove was driven with my van. Well, I hadn't drove nothing bigger than van. bigger than a uh, U-Haul before I got just into still, it. But he, I think he was just trying to get out of the car still, just yeah, experiment, experiment or something. He like should have done it. Because, yeah. I mean, if you get your own truck and you you keep your hazmat going you keep, and you protect your license, I mean, you can make yeah, 500000 Wow. Yeah, Money that good, huh? But you have to get like another driver and stuff like you that. Operate but. your rig, one of your rigs. Yeah, you operate one, have the driver operate one, and you should be able to do about five hundred. Wow, because I they said it's in there. The yeah, I know it's good money. There. But now you're gonna work your yeah. keister yeah. off. Oh yeah, I know it's good money because we, we we had this cleaning business. Mm. There's the call that say, hey, give him the key, let him go in and clean our place, mm -hmm. and there's a check right in the amount. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wow. They already signed it. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got to resist the temptation. Oh, well. You, you go pick up the key from somebody. You just, I mean, how the hell they learn about us? We don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. But they say, call this company, have them clean the carpet, give them the key, and there's the check. Just tell them to write in the amount. And, and I was the like, key wow. At a certain, someplace we yeah, and I was like, wow. I mean, that was... But that's customary. That was, that was trust to the yeah. max. Because I had a so, cleaning we service. Had so many, we had so many clients. No, but just that. I mean, shit, you could have said 500. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. The check is blank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I was like, I mean, I did the honest, of course. Uh, honorable thing. I mean, I did give me a nice little tip. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, uh, as long as you did the job, it was yeah, worth it. Man, we did carpet cleaning. We did I did carpet cleaning. cleaning. Oh, really? I did window cleaning. Yeah, I did. When I first got out, yeah, I had my little yeah, cleaning really service. That's how I paid Chicago. for college. No, in Carbondale. I was in Carbondale. Oh, okay. I went to Southern. Oh. So, so when you come to the continent, are you still going to like drive or do? Like, no, my I had I did a little time in real estate, so I'm thinking real estate and then tourism. That's tourism is a killer because we're trickling in. Yeah, we're trickling in, and then yeah. I now I have something I can really offer because not I just only want to get an ending. That's all. Okay. Oh, okay. Then. Not only do I can offer um, just coming to the continent, but the citizenship portion. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's gonna be the twist. Now the lady I'm I went with, she she's pretty good, but she doesn't advertise. So it's like I found her on accident. Oh, okay. See, she I won't. In no, she's in the, she's in New York. Oh, okay. She's in New York, and then the the, the lady be she's the lady that kind of like put everything together. And then the lady who actually got her citizenship first, she's in uh, California, but she plans to move uh, in the next couple of weeks. So she's going to be on the, yeah, on the continent. So I'm thinking like, okay, who's going to bring care. people over? Wow. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, you know what? I'll do it. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Right? And then I get into the real estate because I, I got a real estate background. So, so I can get over here and kind of figure out, okay, how does it work? What paperwork do we need so I know what's uh, legitimate? Mm -hmm. And then I can talk to some of these folks, figure out what's the process with the cheese and all this. So when people do come over, I can help facilitate buying that land so we don't double sell. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's going Triple. on now? Triple sell. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan what I, on me coming over. Oh, that's good. And I, cause I don't want to drive when I come over, yeah, more unless I just have to. But yeah, from what I've heard, too. they don't pay the drivers here. No, so we but transportation per se is a good business, but it's personal like actual driver. Yeah, I, you you drive up and down the roads, or you see as you go up and down the roads, how you know transportation is key. Yeah, you know moving the materials, the gravel, the sand, the stone, mm -hmm. the people, people yeah. the material. I mean, it's like. It's, it's here, but it, you know it's not really organized. No, you know it's, not. it's not. And I can see it. It's like basically, you know, everybody just park on the side of the road. If you go 
just say, hey, man, come with me and follow me. You exactly. Know you can't call and say, hey, you know. I need X, Y, I Z. Need, yeah, this. And, and, and a lot of times when you are uh, utilizing the transportation, like, for example, we say, okay, send us some sand that they use to build the blocks mm -hmm. to make the concrete, you know, to build uh, uh, buildings. Three or four days, bro, no like show. right now, we're supposed <laughs> to be having a truck right now. Yeah, three or four days. Bro. I saw the guys we was coming in. I was going to say, yeah, I saw the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the trucks are on the side of the road with stuff already in it. Just sitting there. But those belong to someone. Someone else? else? Mm -hmm. Ah. And then also it's getting to rainy season, they say. You already come in the rain? Season? They normally go somewhere, drop that sand and leave it. So it, it'll be, it won't be so hard to get when it starts to rain. Ah. Like so say, is it protected? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, it's like. But saving, right? They put so much on the side. So right. Like we got right there. Like, see how that? Yeah. We got that little pile of sand. Yeah, yeah. There. So They'll when you call, them. they can go. They to can that. go get and get it. Because in the core, in the same core, it's no, hard ain't, because yeah. of the rain. Yeah, they gonna get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> they get stuck. Oh, man. <laughs> so, that's what it is. so, so, so uh, what? What is the rule conditions like in Sierra Leone? Because I'm really intrigued. Um, sort of like here. What were you? Because you figure, I, they say that. Uh, it's the second poorest country in Africa. Sierra Leone. Yeah. Wow. So Gambia is richer than Sierra Leone. Man, you hate to hear stories like that. But. Richest, richest. But everything the else they got now. Yeah, but the, I the hear resources, that everything but is cheaper, cheaper there than Yeah, it's cheaper there than, than here too. Really? Sierra yeah. Leone. I would say almost double. Here. I guess that's the way you can say it. But two times cheaper. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then your money goes a lot longer because you here what's the what's the exchange here again? Fifty to one dollar. There is ten thousand Leons to every dollar. Wow. Look look at Mama's face. <laughs> <laughs> look at her face. I felt I felt like man, King of New York when I was there. No. King of Chicago. Dang. You were having a ball. Dude. I had five hundred dollars, boy, when they gave me I think I had what? Five hundred and fifty no, I had Five million five hundred thousand. <laughs> you was a millionaire. Wow. Yeah, I was a millionaire <laughs> for two days. For real. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Uh, so yeah, y'all yeah, gotta come to see. Y'all heard y'all say y'all would go come, so yeah. yeah. Definitely, we gonna hit them all, man. Yeah, we gonna hit them all. We, we gotta hit that. Coast. And it's not far from here. Right? No, it's not. It's all on the west coast. Yeah. yeah. All on the west coast. Mm -hmm. so we definitely gotta visit. All right, guys, we are gonna cut it here because the phone is getting hot. Okay. Oh, oh it's, you can feel it. You can say whatever yeah, you want. It. If you want to say any words, I wanted to just say my any words. Oh, okay, yeah. Do sweet Mama say anything she want to say? Oh, you want me to say yeah. something? Well, thank you, thank you for coming to visit us. Absolutely. And thanks for everything, even the the dinner we had. Yes. You guys took the time for yes, us. Yes, we did. That we was at the uh, was Eric and Nicole's, mm -hmm. the Soul Food Joint. We had a great time with you guys. That's and right. the people that you had on the tour with right. you. Right. We had some good nice. people. Especially Miss Shirley. Yeah, we had some good people. Miss Shirley and the uh, other gentleman that was with Miss Shirley. I don't yes. remember his name. This, it was in the, inside the truck with us. The truck with yeah. us. Yeah. The, yeah. the older gentleman. Right. So, you know, I, I had a great time uh, Saturday night. That's good. And thanks a lot for, you know, inviting us. That's right. That's right. What about right. you, guys? Ricky? Uh, make sure you check out the channels. Uh, if you're ever in the Gambia, you know, please swing by Black Acres of the Gambia's and check us out. That's right. Uh, love, peace, soul. Soul. Bye. All right, family. Bye -bye. All right. All right, we're going to cut it off here. Yeah, it I love it. Time. It took me over a year to get here. Mm -hmm. But you're here now. <laughs> yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. Hanging out with my West Side family. <laughs> West Side? <laughs> It's a bunch of us on our side. I know, right? right? I grew up over there. All right, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. You cut them up and put them in green. You know the green thing. Ain't that beef still the zero, right? Yeah, beef and those rutabagas. Okay. Yeah, beef juice. Squash. You cut it up. Same way. But this one also, they make it this one. In what? They use that? Like what? The last time you told me, they cut it up. You put salt. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So that's how they do it. This one also, you can do it. I don't know about that. I've never again. I told you. No bag. You got an extra bag? Yeah, I got some. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Mommy says she got some. I got. I got a bag. Yeah. So. Are we gonna be charging anybody's? The lossy something. Come on. Okay. Man. Five the lossy. Five the lossy something. Not the yard. Not the yard. Give me that. Mom says she got a bag.
How much? Rutabaker, beets, and uh, tomatoes and onions. Like 75, it's uh -huh. kilo. Yeah. Oh, but they sell it more than that. It depends on the pump. Yes. Yes. 75, 80, the last year. But when I went and I went to buy, I don't we charge me a whole five. Yes. Well, we eat these. The Ours next are bigger one we'll than theirs. No, you can sell Ours these. Are all of these right? there. It's like more still. Yes. Okay, we'll sell these. The then. ones that the one I, I saw was fresh. smaller. Fresh. Yes. yes. No chemicals. I think you can pass by yeah. also this one. Yes. Yeah. And more no, chemicals. We you will. know by the village? Thank you. See, they don't know this one. Yeah, they have some over there. They don't know this. She said they don't know. No, the guy is selling, I'm talking about, in front of the building. You know, this one, like, majority comes from Senegal. Senegal, yeah. They come from Senegal? Yes, they come from Senegal. The CDC is coming from America. Yes. Here, in the Gambia, to see this one. You have to go to Senegal? Really? Senegal. You don't know the village. Do you know the village? Call to the charter bank. Or Echo Bank. Right past Senegal. There's a guy who's selling outside in front of the... Express. Out of these, Maybe you see Oh, that's a big one. Let's see, Sarah. Very nice. Very This one that showed me like this, bro. I mean, like you grab it like this. Is this the one y'all sacking? This one, yeah. That's This one you see right here. That's the rutabaga. Yeah, the rutabaga is a bitter. They're too bitter for me. Yeah, they're too bitter. 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 Yeah, they're Plus us. Yeah, like plus us. Salt yes. is very yeah. good. We ate this in Nigeria. Yeah. Tell me, in brother, Nigeria. Uh, you say in Liberia? Nigeria, Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you say this one, you make it salad. Yeah, it's bitter. It's too yeah, bitter. Yeah, yeah. That one I will, but yeah, this one's kind of bitter. But you can cook them. Yeah, you might cook them and seat them, right? Yeah, and cut those up and cook them. You can eat that with squash. You put Can you put out the back of the car? Uh, put it back here. Uh, we are not going to open the back. You open the back of your car. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Really appreciate Thank you, it. Thank you, mommies. Abadaka. Like what do you like? You want a uh, onion, tomato? No, onion, onion. 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 He said onion. This onion. is all. Oh, well, he said all. Oh. Oh. Come here, let's do that. Go ahead. He said, he said all. Oh. Because... I'm not gonna turn this down. Do I have a what? Extra bag. No, I don't have any more. I just the last one. I'm giving to him. Checking the back of the car. You're checking the back of the car. Yeah, yeah, the checking back of the, the van. 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 Yeah. Our van. Van. Yeah. Our van. All of us. All of us. Why not? We're not going to go. Why not? We're not going to go. All right, Dylan. Thank you. I know I got a bucket of these at the house uh, already. That's up to mom, Dylan. What do you want? I'll say Dylan can go there and help them dig it any time he wants to. I thought it was going to be up there too. Right? I do. Actually, I was asking you for the keys to the car. I asked, I asked, I'll put you the key, though. You said, you no, know, I, I, that's what I was doing. Then I realized what I was doing. Then I went to the other bag. You got the tomatoes ready? Okay. Okay. Some of these. You need to keep the tomatoes. Don't put that in the bag. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's okay? Oh, I wish this was not Ramadan. Ramadan. Well, you cook it tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> have, your wife, have your wife cook it tonight. Break your hands and then start cooking. You know me and my wife. You know me and my wife. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, it's okay now. It's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is that at the market? How much is that at the market? How much is that at the market? The tomatoes are very expensive. All this right here, how much is this at the market? The market. Mm. No, no, this in one. This one? This bag. How much is that at the market? No more than probably a hundred. Four, five hundred. Four five hundred. Five hundred dollars? Yeah. Because yeah. let me Jeez. let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you. Three bags of tomatoes. Well, I know three these are no. 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 Wait, you said four five hundred. You know why? Why? Because I know better. These. These they're tell me maybe. Long enough to know. Yeah, these tomatoes, small tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe five of them. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Well, first harvest mm -hmm. we always want to share. Yeah, first, thank you, sweet mama. Yeah, first share. Harvest. We share. Yeah. Where's that phone? Where's Diane? Right. Where's Diane? So what you record since we always share that. First harvest she, should she be shared, to, absolutely. Yeah. We always share. Well, everything we have, we've always shared. And even before we even got with um, Thank you. the garden, we always shared. Pusa so Buddha family, I always share. Coming to bag, our first harvest, where our plants are to give to the people. They exactly. are. The people that work with us. Oh, okay, then. You know, I work with you. I mean, we tell them <laughs> every time they come here. Wait a minute, you telling me something new? This is new. It's okay for them to have some. It is, sweet mama. Yeah, they have you. Just don't take big buckets and yeah, go and, and sell. Yeah, 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 that's but it's okay for them to take for, for their family. family. For their family. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't true. mind doing that. All jokes aside, that yeah. is true. That is so but true. But they put the work in, too. No problem. And they help y'all put the work in. That is, sweet mama. I'm going to make you some onion soup and some rutabaga. You going to jump in it? You want to get here, right? Okay. I'm going to let you go. Don't hit the Don't hit the vocabulary. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let y'all go. Well, that's be <laughs> I can well, find I another big bag and put this in somewhere. We can't say that uh, nothing grows here, so we Thank can't you, say bro. that. Yeah, you know, and we've seen this is some big uh, rutabaga. Yes, here. they is. Wait, did you see that bag? That brother said that bag was About $10. Yeah, I didn't know it was that bag. That little bag was $10. Well, I think it's more in America. I think Miss Doogie planted this issue. Yeah, I think she did. Yeah, shout out to her. Yeah, shout out to Doogie. We thank you. We miss you too, lady. Yes. That's really nice. Yeah. Uh, I grew up with the, my auntie used I did to too. get her collard greens, turnips. Beets. Yeah. But well, we used to get the ones in the can. And, uh, it was in a jar. Yeah. It was canned too. They even sold Slice. Pickle, pickle beets. Yeah, pickle beets. That. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you do. Go ahead. You're fine. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Y'all saw our harvest today. We had the onions, the griddles, beets. And we did share with our workers. That's right. And friends. And friends. Yeah, and friends. I can't right. see you today. Who's coming from the state? So the shy share. baby. Sorry, you guys couldn't get any of the our guests that was, was with us yesterday. Yeah, right? they didn't harvest. You know, they didn't harvest. But for those of y'all that thank are coming, thank you so much. Yeah, but did I cut y'all? No, you didn't. Go ahead. But for those of y'all that are coming later, you know when the women harvest the fruit or That's vegetables, right. you guys are uh, free to get your portion and stuff. Okay. I can't wait to get right. there and cut these up. I'm ready to eat it. I can smell the soup now. <laughs> Girl, start frying. I can smell soup. the soup now. All we need is some kind of corn or beans or peas and, and, and stuff. Yeah. Start planting our garlic because I love garlic and That's I love next. ginger. That's right. Yes. Thanks. All right, family. Love you guys.